hello everyone and very welcome to the channel in this video i am going to install a very interesting model locally this model is an expert model and solves the issue of hallucinations in large language models hallucinations refers to instances where the model generates factually incorrect or nonsensical information despite appearing confident and fluent this phenomena occurs when the model relies too heavily on patterns learned from its training data rather than actual knowledge or facts. It could be generating fictional events, entities or statistics. It could be confabulating information not present in the training data. It could be producing contradictory or illogical statements or it could mean creating overly specific or detailed responses lacking basis in reality. Hallucinations pose significant challenges for LLMs as they can undermine trust in the model's output and lead to spreading misinformation. This model, Bespoke MiniCheck, is a fact-checking model developed by Bespoke Labs. This model is a fine-tuned of LAMA 3.1. This model is a new grounded factuality checking model and it can check responses generated by other models to detect and reduce hallucinations. The way it works is quite interesting. Before I tell you how it works and we install it and check it out, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Coming back to this bespoke model, this model works in a very interesting way. It uh, works by taking chunks of factual information that is document and generated output which is claim and verifies the claim against the document and we will also see an example very shortly. If the document supports a claim, the model will output yes, otherwise it is going to output a no. Bespoke MiniCheck is especially quite useful when building retrieval augmented generation applications as it can be used to make sure responses are grounded in the retrieve context provided to the LLM. And even this can be done as a post-processing step in RAG pipeline to detect hallucinations. The tool which I am going to install this is Olama. If you don't know what Olama is, I already have covered Olama in hundreds of videos. It is one of the simple an easy tool to run large language models locally in a quantized way. The way you install is also quite easy, you just click on this download and as per your operating system, either you download for the Windows XE or go with the Mac or Linux. In Linux, for example, you just copy this command and run it on your local system and it installs your Olama there. Now once you have done it, just click on models. And then in the model section, you can simply search for bespoke and you see that we have this bespoke mini check and there are few other information around it. Also, you can download various variants of this model like it comes in lot of variants. I'm just going to go with this one, the Q8 quant, which is quite uh, quality, the highest quality quant available and simply copy this command in order to download and run the model locally with Olama. So I have already copied this command. Now, once you have done it, let me take you to my terminal. This is my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy math compute. Let me clear the screen. Let me see if Olama is running by doing Olama list. As you can see, Olama is running and I already have two models available. Now in order to download this new model bespoke mini check, simply paste that command here. It is going to download this model and you can see that the size is just over 8 gig. So it is going to download the model, then it is going to verify the checksum and then run it. So let's wait for it to finish downloading and running. So it has downloaded the model, now verifying the checksum shouldn't take too long now. And the model is ready to be used. If you 
exit from this console and do olama list you will see that model is present now so let me clear the screen here let me launch the model again now let's test it out so i'm going to provide it a document and a claim there you go so you see in this one the document says a group of students gather in the school library to study for their upcoming final exams whereas the claim says the students are preparing for an examination so the claim looks good let's press enter there you go so this model only replies in yes or no after fact checking so in this case the claim was right so its fact checking was correct so it responded as yes however when the claim is not supported by the document the model will respond with no let me show you an example so for example here the document says a group of students gather in the school library to study for their upcoming final exams and the claim is students are out on the vacation in this case as you can see the model has responded with no because the fact is wrong in the light of this context okay so let me now press ctrl l to clear the screen now let's test it out on few other examples i will try to make these examples as fuzzy as possible so you see here i'm saying a local restaurant owner reported a 15 percent increase in sales over the past quarter citing increased demand for delivery services claim the restaurant sales increased last quarter so let's see it is yes that is correct now let's test out another one in this one i'm saying researchers at a prestigious university published a study finding a correlation between regular exercise and improved mental health outcomes claim exercise improves mental health that is true yes that is correct let's try out a no one okay now in this example i'm saying the city's public transportation system announced plans to expand its bus fleet by 20 vehicles to accommodate growing ridership the city is reducing the number of buses it is should be no that is correct okay let's try out another one the company ceo announced her res resignation effective immediately the company ceo stepped down that should be yes and then let's try one more the weather forecast predicts a high temperature of 75 fahrenheit with scattered clouds now i'm saying the forecast calls for heavy rain what do you think no that is totally correct you see that for most of the cases and i would say even for all of the cases it was um, able to detect it either yes or no and let me ask one final one here so i am asking it the new policy allows employees to work from home one day a week effective january 1st claim is the company has introduced flexible remote work arrangements what do you think is one day enough yeah some would say yes maybe some would say that it is not remote it is not that flexible but anyway so let's see if it is able to also deal with other regular prompts or not just to see if it is uh, for example i'm just going to ask it a simple question that how many hours are there in the word strawberry you see it says three wow and if you are following my channel you know that many models fail this can you try it longer sentences so i'm asking it to write 10 sentences ending with word beauty and it is writing it how good is that not all of them but many of them are correct this is actually very very interesting so okay now let me try one last one maybe i will just check its multilingual capabilities let me uh, press ctrl l here so i'm asking it to translate i love you in few of the languages let's say yep oh, wow well this is not correct this also doesn't look good so yeah it's not so yeah so it's not uh I don't think so this it is multilingual it has done something because i think these languages are in its training set but the answers are doesn't look that good maybe arabic looks a bit okay anyway so all in all really interesting model as you can see 
i will drop the link it uh, of it in video description i'm also going to make another video to uh, implement react with it so stay tuned if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching